Looking good. Wet socks right down the runway. Good. Most of us have been there, flying into a little strip that doesn't have weather information. Um, they get on their radio and they dial up, the, dial up the closest AWOS and get that information and hope it's the same. But Say Weather does just that for airports without weather reporting. We send an airport out, a Davis weather station. It's solar powered. It's got a battery backup good for two or three years. It's wireless up to a thousand feet line of sight back to the console. And the console could be in an airport's FBO, could be in an airport's hangar, somebody's living room. We take the information from the weather station off that console and we run it through our stay weather box. This is our brain that we've developed. We make some calculations in there and do a couple other things. And then we push the information out of VHF radio. And it's simple to use. Just tune into the CTAF and click five times. Say weather will read you the observation. Airport automated advisory. Wind 280 at 5 knots. Temperature 2.8 Celsius. 2.17 Celsius. Altimeter 2978. Density altitude 2,900. There's also a quick wind check function. The basic system is just under $8,000 and the cost goes up significantly if you want to add ceilings and visibility, those sensors are extremely expensive. If there's internet at your strip, SayWeather will also uplink your readings to Weather Underground and ForeFlight so you can access the data electronically from anywhere. SayWeather's George Demedian says it adds a lot of safety. It just makes everybody a safer pilot in, in a safer airport. At AirVenture, Sierra Harrop, AOPA pilot.